In this video we're going to add our menu button and create the interaction that will pull the menu in from the edge of the viewport panel, pushing the header and content panels across, leaving the right edge of the content visible. Now we need to create a button which shows in the small and medium views to open and close the menu. We'll open the header panel where we're going to put this element. Let's drag out an image widget. We'll use the ubiquitous hamburger icon uh, which we'll select from this image import dialog. You can find this file in the code pack in section 7 folder. Uh, this one comes courtesy of konigi.com, that's K-O-N-I-G-I.com. These icons are a free download from axio.com. You can find lots of other free resources there too. Thanks, Konigi. Um, now, when creating this interaction, I'm going to lead you through the thought process. So we may do a little meandering, but this is so I can illustrate to you the necessities of doing things a certain way. So let's give this widget a name of menu button. Now all the action is going to occur on click. So with our menu button selected, let's double click the on click event to open the case editor. In simple terms, we want to animate the menu across into the viewport space. So let's do that to make a start. We want to move the menu panel by minus 250 pixels animate linear 500 milliseconds so we're going to move the menu panel from the right to the left into the viewport by 250 pixels let's see that in action press F5 resize to see the base view so it moves from left to right over the page. We can then navigate by selecting a menu item. But we can't quite see this very well yet. So there's a few other things we need to do to make this happen in the base view. One, we want to move the content panel and header panel with the menu panel, just like we saw earlier. Two, we want to be able to move the menu back again. There's more, but let's pick these points up first. Back to the viewport panel. Moving the content and header panel with the menu is easy. We'll simply use the clever move with action. We need to find the on move event on the menu panel. This is hidden down here under more events. When we move the menu panel, we also want to move the content dynamic panel with this. No animation required because it's going to move with the animation we set on the menu panel. We also want to move the header dynamic panel with this. OK. Let's see this in action. F5. As you can see the header and content panel pick up the smooth animation we set on the menu. Now the next problem, if we click on the menu button again, oh dear, it goes off to the left some more. We need to set some conditional logic up for this animation. That's coming up next. But first, we're just going to do some tidying up of the other views. In the medium view, we want to place the menu button in the correct location. And in the large, we want to unplace the menu button from the view because it's redundant here because we have a fixed horizontal menu in the large view. Let's just test this. Press F5. You can see the medium view works in a similar way to the small. Whilst in the large view, we've unplaced the button from the view.